Well, hello there everyone, how's it going? This is Rexford here, and today I'm going to be redoing a tutorial, my GIMP tutorial I did a while back on how to do animation in GIMP, and the reason I'm redoing this tutorial today is because, one, the audio wasn't at its best, basically the only audio that you could hear if you are using headphones or uh, earphones was on the left side of it, so a lot of people who, you know, the left side didn't work or whatnot, couldn't really hear the audio. Uh, two, I also took too long for that tutorial, um, I was a bit too explanative, and I just wanted to kind of redo that, because this really isn't easy thing to do and it really shouldn't have taken that long but you know I was doing a beginner's beginner's kind of thing so nonetheless let's go ahead and begin here this is when you're uh, opening up your default GIMP screen you'll get this little default uh, area what you want to go and do is go file new and I'm just gonna go OK so you have your blank palette here and basically all you want to do here is the way GIMP handles animation uh, for those of you who haven't really delved into this before it's GIMP animations uh, or handles rather animations by frames and what that means is if you take the uh, the brush tool the pencil tool here just to draw something like a, uh, a simple line, there we go, actually, there we go, that'll do, and we go up here, sometimes it won't show up uh, by default down here, so you have to go up here and hit uh, Untitled 2, alright, we get our very first frame, we can hide and show our frame and cool stuff like that, now, what we want to go ahead and do is, because GIMP works by frame by frame animation, uh, at least for the animation um, section of it, um, what we want to go ahead and do is go down here and go Create New Layer, Alright, and we'll just hit OK. We want everything to be um, how it is right now. Actually, let's go ahead and hit white instead of transparency. If we hit transparency, it will just be a transparent background without anything in the, uh, in the, uh, in the background itself. So let's go ahead and hit white and hit OK. There we are. Now what we're going to go and do is go up here to this little opacity slider here, just drag it down a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and make this arm kind of uh, flail up and down a little bit. Or actually, maybe just flail up. Alright, so what we're going to go and do is now that we can see our line, our frame down here, um, we're going to just slightly draw a little upward. Alright, we're going to continue the same thing, create a new layer, uh, keep it white, hit OK. Alright, and move the opacity down just a bit. Alright, we're going to continue to do the same exact thing, going up a little higher this time. Alright, and I'm just going to do this to about five more frames, or at least till we get to five frames. Alright, new layer, there we go. And drag that down so we can see what's going on in the frame below this. Alright, and oops, <laughs> almost following the uh, the exact layer down there. There we go. So now we can see all of our past layers along with our current layer. And we go to the, the opacity layer too. If we put that all the way up, we can only see our current layer. Um, but if we go kind of right here, uh, we can see all the layers that we've created before. So if you want to play this and see what it looks like, we can go to Filters and Animation and Playback. And hit this little play button here. And there we go. You'll notice our little arm kind of thing just kind of flails up a little bit. Then kind of shoots back down because it's going back down to frame one. It's cycling through all of these different frames so that it looks like it's an animation. And technically it kind of is. So that's pretty much um, how that works there. Now, uh, basically... The way you're going to save this is you're not going to save it, um, you're not just going to go file and save or whatnot. Um, if you were to save or save as, um, actually just save, um, if you were about to just save, um, that would just save the file itself. So you could come back and open it up and, you know, say you wanted to close this work on another day and add more frames and stuff to it. You can go ahead and do that by saving. And if you go to save, uh, it will just automatically name as like an XEF or whatever file. But what we want to go and do is uh, save it as a GIF file. So we're going to go save as... And we're going to go down here where it says select uh, file type by extension. Hit that little plus sign there. We're going to search for GIF. There we go. Or GIF, whatever you prefer. And uh, just go ahead and navigate to where you want. I'm just going to go ahead and go to pictures. Hit save. All right, and you want to go here. This is very important, okay? What you want to do is instead of flatten image, you want to go down here to save animation under where it says the GIF plugin. Um, area here and this stuff down here you don't really need to mess with um, unless you you know preferably want to but I'm just gonna go ahead and the only thing you really need to do to make sure that's gonna be an animation in the end is go to save as animation alright now an export alright and we're gonna go ahead and you can change some of the stuff here uh, basically while this is is uh, how fast your animation is gonna go and if you want it to loop or not and um, the, obviously you can have a little comment here all right, some other stuff here that you can worry about in your own time if you feel like it. I personally don't really delve too much into that because uh, I never really need to. Um, other than that, you want to go ahead and just hit save. All right, and there we go because this is a really simple animation. Just saves really quickly. Now let's go ahead and um, let's see. What did we name that? Um, I think it's just untitled. Do, 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 untitled. Here we go. So I believe, yep, this is it. All right, and it'll automatically open up in your uh, your default uh, little browser here, and there we go. There is our GIF animation. 
So that is just a really simple um, way to do animation in GIMP. A lot simpler than my last tutorial, a lot more to the point, I suppose. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And um, yeah, feel free to comment in this tutorial and such, as well as even subscribe to my channel for upcoming most future videos like this one and such. And until next video, guys, this has been Rex Furry, and I'll see you all next time.